sleep with Chicho. I've been thinking about retirement and saving in a 401k, but given everything I've learned with you, I feel like uh, the route is crazy to take. I'm afraid I will save money into a 401k, and by the time I retire in 30 years, the US government will have fully collapsed. Thoughts on retirement for you, uh, for you, G people and G people, uh, yeah, Elugot. Uh, if you like personally, like you know, there's kind of pension and stuff, and my but I don't expect to collect any pension from can Canadian pension or for it to be able to buy anything. Like, one of the reasons I do these comic book buys, gang, like, let's get this clear I love comic books, I love reading comic books, I think the human artifact of it is absolutely amazing. I do it because it's part of my repertoire right now. You know, I do comic book hauls, I do comic book show and tell, I do comic book readings, we do comic book framings, we do the spreadsheet for comic books so we can do math. So I use comic book hauls as uh, investing in this project that I'm doing in my spiel i guess right because i'm going to use some of this data to create a module to show uh how you can invest in comic books so it's part of my work it's part of my expense in doing this work however it's also an investment like sleepy waves i invest in collectibles right i invest in collectibles hard assets silver gold collectibles right i don't get into real estate is because government controls real estate right i can't pack up my real estate and go move somewhere i have to deal with the government i have to deal with licensing i have to deal with taxes i have to deal with government changing the rules on you right i have to deal with bank interest rates right so it's tangible items that are semi-liquid right it's not like the stock market i could press a button and liquidate all my assets all the stocks right however it uh it stands the test of time right in term in terms of retaining its value and hopefully increasing in value instead of having cash where the cash depreciates or stocks where it wall street where it's it's a shit show other than the top stocks that everybody's in but once everybody tries to leave at the same time you're going to see certain stocks take a 70 percent haircut 80 percent haircut we've already seen some of those things right look at dollar general that was uh, two years ago was trading at or uh, take paypal because we're short paypal when it was like 300 dollars, right had puts on it paypal went from 300 down to 50 dollars, right okay do the math five, 50 over 300 is uh, five over 30 it's one sixth the value that it was before right uh take a look at dollar general that was you know what the hell was it 240 dollars like last year right now it's trading at 80. at 80 not a bad buy at 240 dollars that's triple what it is now right so once some of these big companies start taking haircuts and everybody tries to leave the room at the same time you're gonna see the shit at the fan right that also can happen with comic books with collectibles and stuff like this as well but those are more tangible right you can still they have double or multi-use purpose a stock doesn't have double or multi-use purpose the, the most it could do is have a double usage where the value goes up and you collect dividends if you're really tech savvy or stock market savvy then you can start selling calls on it if it's going up or uh, uh, selling puts uh, selling puts on it right writing puts as it's moving up so you collect a little ex little extra from there and stuff like this but that takes time that takes time taking your money and blindly putting it into a fund and walking away don't do it with all your money you can do it with some of your money right but i've known people that say oh yeah the best thing you can do is buy land it always goes up in value that's a fallacy that's bullshit right buy stocks they always go up in value tell that to enron tell that to people who who had xerox tell that people tell that to people who had multiple uh, norton networks right so you have to be vigilant in your investments right 
that's what you need to do and as we've always said diversify 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 invest in yourself first and foremost eat good food right get your uh, skills that you need to be able to function as best as you can make sure you can multitask you can do different types of jobs if the need need arises right if all of a sudden one of your opportunities for job making money is cut disappears huh, last four years mandates and stuff make sure you are have another avenue where you can generate revenue make sure right now if you're living your life and you only have one source of income the investment that you're going to make is to make sure you have at least two sources of income preferably three sources of income they all don't have to be equal right this one could be 80 percent of your income and these ones each could be 10 percent or preferably this one could be 60 and each one of these 20 percent but if the 60 percent is cut the 40 percent that's left over is still going to keep a roof over your head and have you fed right it's going to be difficult for all three or rare for all three to be cut at the same time unless you're not healthy you have health issues which is one of the reasons you should eat healthy so instead of taking money and put an rsp 401k that you can collect 30 years from now and you're eating processed food because it's cheaper i don't know if it is or not but it's cheaper i don't eat too much processed food right buy take some of that money start buying fresh food and do cooking learn how to cook right because most bankruptcies in canada united states occur because people have health issues right either they're they they can't work anymore so even if they have three sources of income they're cut they got no money coming in or their hospital bills go through the roof so if you eat healthy and you exercise that's the biggest investment you can make in your life right do a little bit of meditation so you don't mentally break down that's another investment into your health but your mental health right you can get into spiritual and stuff like this it's not just about the stock market 401ks and shit like this diversify everything you need to break your programming right you need to break your programming i know so many people that think investing means putting money in the stock market and they eat mcdonald's there's nothing left to be said to those people really aside from what i just said <laughs> right <laughs>